Huang Di, or the Yellow Emperor, is the legendary founder of the Chinese nation. He lived in the latter days of China's primitive society around 5,000 years ago. Huang Di is honored as the man who gave birth to Chinese civilization. He is widely credited with many inventions, weaving the cart, the bow and arrow, to name but a few. Based on his brilliant achievements, China was able to develop one of the world's four great ancient civilizations. Huang Di Mausoleum is one of the most important historical sites in all of China. It stands at the top of Mount Qiaoshan in Huangling County, Shanxi Province. Legend has it that Huang Di lived to be 118. Then one day he heard a sudden clap of thunder from the sky, and a yellow dragon descended before him. The dragon said to him, "You have accomplished your mission. Now it's time for you to return to heaven." As they flew together over Mount Qiaoshan, the emperor persuaded the dragon to land so that he could address his people one last time. The people seized hold of the emperor's robes, entreating him to stay. But the yellow dragon carried him away, and all they had left were his hat and robes. These they buried on Mount Qiaoshan, where they built a mausoleum to mark the spot. Historical records show that in the spring and autumn and the Warring States period, more than 2,000 years ago, the ancient kings and emperors paid homage at the mausoleum. It was renovated several times during the Qing and Han dynasties. The mausoleum covers an area of four square kilometers. It is surrounded by mountains and rivers and covered with lush forest. More than 60,000 cypresses stand on site, all of them at least 1,000 years old. Anyone who reaches the mountain's top will pass a stone tablet with the inscription: "All civil and military officials alike must dismount at this point." It is said that in ancient times, those who came to pay homage would walk from this point up to the tomb. The mausoleum of Huang Di is situated right in the middle of the mountain top, facing south. Four meters high and 50 meters in circumference, it is said to have been built in 110 BC on orders of Emperor Wu Di of the Han Dynasty, so that he could pay homage to the Yellow Emperor and pray for good fortune. The mausoleum is a stately structure with just inside its gate a cypress tree measuring 11 meters around its circumference. The cypress is supposed to have been planted by Huang Di himself. 30 meters from the cypress stands a pavilion, inside which are four blue stone steles with inscriptions by Mao Zedong, Deng Xiaoping, Sun Yat-sen, and Jiang Gaishek. Every year, the Huang Di Mausoleum Foundation, an organization established in Huangling to honor the great emperor, organizes a number of ceremonies. One is held on Tomb Sweeping Day in the fourth lunar month, and another at Chongyang Festival in the ninth month. They draw thousands of people from across the country and overseas to pay homage to Huang Di. The scale of the latest ceremony held on the ninth of lunar September in 2007 was unprecedented. The ceremony was held at the square in front of the Xuanyuan Temple, a stately structure standing at the foot of the Mount Qiaoshan. Xuanyuan was another name for Huang Di. In addition to Han people, members of 55 other nationalities traveled all the way to attend the memorial ceremony, bringing with them their local specialties as offerings. Ethnic Tujia from Hubei Province brought alcohol made from their own maize and water from the Qingjiang River. Along with valuable herbs from their home, they also performed their traditional dance. Ethnic drum from Guangxi brought their famous silk articles and their traditional alcohol made from black rice. Unlike the folk dance of the two Jia, their dance is accompanied by copper drums. Dong nationality people also brought gifts, including a model of a drum tower, the symbol of nobility and authority in Dong culture. Members of the Yi ethnic group from Yunnan Province brought their local wine to the sacrificial rites.
The Nachi people brought a handmade carpet. It had taken 300,000 man hours to manufacture, and which was a symbol of their wisdom and industriousness. They also brought some of the famous Lijiang snow peaches, which grow on the snow-capped mountains. Pour tea and homemade incense were the gifts of the Hani people, also from Yunnan province. They also performed their folk dance in front of the mausoleum. Another ethnic group from Yunnan, the Dai, brought with them such products as bananas, pineapples, and specially prepared wild tea. As for the Tibetans, their gifts included aqua made from the crops growing on the Tibetan plateau, along with the pure white silk hada, to express their sincerity and admiration. The Yugu ethnic group from Gansu province presented a crafted golden velvet deer, the most prestigious gift to the Yugu can bestow. They also performed their highly original folk songs and dances. The two nationalities from Qinghai province brought with them some of their own alcoholic yak's milk, as well as the five-colored arrows that, to them, are a sign of respect. They also presented their own hada at the mausoleum. The annual memorial ceremony has become a major cultural event for the local government and people. Increasing attention has been given to the renovations of the Huangdi Mausoleum over the past few decades. Five thousand years ago, Huangdi led his people to settle on this land and launch Chinese civilization. All those who attend the offering ceremony at the Huangdi Mausoleum feel a strong connection with those ancient times. More importantly, by learning about their past, they can look into the future. The county is developing into a major coal-producing base after coal-fueled 1,000 square kilometers in area was discovered locally. Huangling coal is already exported to Japan and is widely used on the domestic market. Huangling, with its pleasant climate, is also ideal for growing apples. With two-thirds of its land area covered with forests, the county has recently been listed as a Class A tourist destination. The Ministry of Culture has designated the Huangdi offering ceremony as a national intangible cultural heritage. Huangling County is a land of hope and opportunity. Its long history makes it a place rich in culture and tradition. With its beautiful natural scenery to lure tourists and its rapid economic development, this historical area is adding to its appeal. Back in the 1930s, the local researchers had once counted the cypress trees in the mausoleum and found there were 60,000 in total. Over the past few decades, most of these trees have survived, and the number has so far increased to 80,000. Like a troop of guards protecting the ancestors' mausoleum, the cypress trees have added a lively touch to the cultural relics. The local people, as they look to the future, are determined to write a new chapter to sustain the glory of their great ancestor. <laughs>